What's going on, Golf Busters? In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to build your own premium DIY hitting strip that won't break like this one did. And I'm also gonna give you eight extra tips to create a perfect premium DIY hitting strip that will last years and will increase the longevity of all the other turf you bought. So first, let's start off with everything you need to make this hitting strip. So first thing here, is some polycarbonate. It's like a really hard plastic and I'll link that below in the description along with everything else. The next is this hard foam kind of for the edges. I used the one inch kind of those puzzle piece tiles that link together. Next you're going to want a utility blade and then these two are kind of optional but you need something that's going to allow you to cut the turf. So this is just kind of regular snips. These are pretty useful if you ever need to just kind of trim off the polycarbonate. And then this is probably technically don't need it, might be optional, but it's kind of an electric snipper and that works really, really well for cutting turf. So this is one of my favorite tools, highly recommend that. Next is gonna be some Lexel. That's gonna be really important for these hard foam pieces to keep those on. Last but not least is the Grill Glue Max Strength construction adhesive. And then finally, you're gonna need a launch monitor. So I use the FlightScope Mevo Plus. If you do wanna buy the FlightScope Mevo Plus, Use the link down below in the description and code GOLFBUSTERS10 and it will just make sure that you're always getting the lowest possible price for the Mevo. So the first thing you're gonna do, once you've cut your hard foam, put a little bit of this Lexel on it and just run that up and down. And then you're gonna glue that on and just put some weight on it and let it sit overnight. Now, one big tip I have with this that's really important other videos will tell you to like not put the foam right up to the edge, maybe put it a little bit behind the polycarbonate. I tried that for a while and what ended up happening when it slides, it would like push into the big piece of turf and essentially that ripped out. Now with my turf, it doesn't look too bad because it's dark blue, but I've done it with other turfs and it looks terrible if that whole big piece of turf that you have down gets ripped up. So I'd recommend putting this right up to the edge. I would love to find a way to give that a little cushion so it could slide, but right now, this is what I'm using and it works fine, honestly. So the next thing I'm gonna do is apply this soft foam, kind of a racetrack, all the way down. If this was about a foot wide, I would probably use three strips. Mine's about 20 inches wide, so I'm gonna use five strips. So all you do, it's really easy. This is just a sticky side. You just peel it off and then it just sticks right to the bottom of this. And we'll just kind of measure that out, cut it, and then put it down. So when it's all done, that's what it looks like. Hard foam on the edge, and then the soft foam in the middle. And so what happens is, when you end up hitting, it's gonna have you know, a good amount of give there and allow you to hit in pretty well. Now, my next big tip, everyone, is to use a bigger hitting strip than a one foot by two foot. Here's why. This was my original hitting strip. Worked great until you get some people who are above like a 15 handicap. So what ended up happening is with two feet of strip, a lot of people would end up fatting the ball. So if you can look down here, it ends up cracking. And the only end reason it ends up cracking, it's strong enough to take any normal hit, but if you fat it, you kind of hit in the back here, and that's when it can start cracking. So what I found is, you know, if any, anyone below like a, let's say a 15 handicap, never fats it bad enough to hit back here. But once you get guys in there that are kind of above a 15 handicap, that will happen a lot more than you think, and it will slowly start to break down. Now, I had this one for about three months before it was finally kind of put out of commission, and so I just decided with my next one to make it three foot long, and the reason I made it wider is because I didn't want to have to replace my turf on the ground. And so what I was worried was happening is people would hit off the hitting mat, but they would practice swing off the hitting mat. So I just decided, Let's make this three feet long, and then I went about 20 inches wide so people are able to practice swing on the hitting strip. Now, you've probably also noticed that I no longer have those five soft foam tracks going. So here's the reason why. You need to set up your hitting strip to have enough divot and give for you. So you just gotta mess around that with that. So for me, when I had all five of these on, it hardly had any divot, any give. 
So I just kind of took out the center track, cut a little bit off here until I felt comfortable kind of with the, the push in the give that was on this polycarbonate strip. So now we're just gonna use the Gorilla Glue Max Strength Construction Adhesive, and we're just gonna glue this turf down. Now, the best part about doing this DIY hitting strip, besides the money you're gonna save, is the longevity of these hitting strips. Every hitting strip's gonna get worn down, kinda no matter how much you hit it. And the best part about this hitting strip is, as long as you just order a little extra turf, on the edge of your big turf, you can cut that off. And then what I do is when this gets worn down, I just rip it up, cut up a new one, glue it down, and that takes like 10 minutes, and I'm good to go for another three months. So this is something that can last you such a long time because it's so easy to replace the turf on top. So my tip for putting this on is to go light on the construction adhesive. Originally, I put way too much on, and it took me a ton of time to rip this up the first time. The second time, I went a lot lighter on the construction adhesive and it stayed on great, but it allowed me to rip it up really easy when I was ready to replace it. So all you're gonna do for this, you're just gonna start kinda on the edge here. And what I do is I just kinda make an S. So I just do, kinda go all the way around and then I kinda just make S's as I go. And then I'll probably just add just a little strip on the edge here. Next step, I'm just gonna put my turf on and then just put something heavy over it to hold it down for overnight. All right, it is dried overnight. You can kind of see the construction adhesive in there. And so what we're going to do next what's up golf busters before we get to the next part of the video i'm going to play a round of golf in the snow if i can hit 10k subscribers so make sure to hit that like and subscribe button it's just cut off that excess turf and make this look really nice and clean All right, so this is what it's gonna look like when you cut it up. Look how clean those edges look now. So it looks really, really good. And then what I'll do now is I'll just cut out a piece in the floor and I'll stick this right in there. Okay, so now what I've done is I've just kind of marked out with tape the center point of the turf. And now I'm just gonna use a utility blade and a straight edge to cut that out. Now, my tip for this is, this is one of the most important things for making sure it fits in clean and looks good. So really take your time on this. Don't rush this part. All right, got the turf cut out. Now I just gotta cut the foam and then we're good to go. All right, we made the cut. Now to see if this bad boy fits in there. Usually it's a little tight, so I have to just kinda cut off a little bit of foam on the edge, but Maybe I got it perfect, we'll see. Oh, that could be good. Pretty good. I think that's good. 